time, essentially. Um, we used to play a lot of Hyrule. Hyrule was, you know, the, the scene was pretty divided, and a lot of people were on the fence about banning Hyrule. Ultimately, the people who wanted to ban it kind of got their way. And it makes sense to, I think, most people now. I, I definitely think Dreamland is my favorite stage, but <laughs> it would be, it's still very nice to go back and play Hyrule sometimes. And I think a large stage would be just what this game needs. Absolutely. So getting into the match here, we have Super Boom Fan and Josh Brody. We've seen this match lots of times before, but we're going into it and we're being serious because we got Boom's Falcon right off the gate. Yeah, let's see if Josh can make some waves here versus Boom's Falcon. I think he always enjoys the chance to play Boom and really try to push himself. Ooh. Oh, the getup attack hits. Oh, <laughs> the town B. Great uh, ledge hop in air. Ooh. Boom's just spacing those back airs. Spacing those aerials, I should say. He's using more than just back air. And that fast fall in air. Something that Boom uses better than anyone else, in my opinion. Such a big hit from Falcon, you know. It's like the one way to get a really strong big hit when you're facing forward as Falcon. Okay, that back throw is probably going to do it. We're even in stocks. Even in everything. Okay. Nice DI from Boom to get out of that grab. A little okay. grab war for a second there. Oh, yeah. Nice weak Nair. Josh Brody up a stock. Putting that Nair in just the right position. Oh, trying to get that back there, but not realizing he was still invincible. That's going to be an easy combo for Boom. Not messing around with anything too fancy. Just a standard. Absolutely. I mean, when you're going against players like Josh Brody, and you want to win. Whew. Still has his jump. Smash the eyes. Oh, oh great. Ooh, he tries to up B away. Or he does oh. up B away, and then boom, almost up B's his up B. Great rising there from Josh there. Oh, some really good escapes. Oh, man. Oh. Yeah. I think he crouch canceled the first one, which allowed him to avoid getting back hair. And the second one, he wasn't so lucky. Oh, down air into grab. Misses Ooh. the second down air. Oh, and Josh gets caught with a dug hug. Ooh, the down air gets sniped by that up air of Falcons. Wow, that's that killed. One, yeah. I thought it was going to be really close, but not quite do it. <laughs> this doesn't seem too far away from, from Josh in terms of being able to, like, you know, take a game or... Absolutely. Especially Pika Falcon, that matchup can be so volatile. You get yeah. a couple good grabs, then it's over. But boom, one of the best players with Falcon of getting back to the stage, even against a Pika. One of those things that you just don't ever see in neutral is Falcon is down air. Yeah, it's really grabs. it's really good for Boom against Josh right here because he lands that down air, then he's able to do that standard forward air, up air, up B combo, and instead of just doing a lot of damage and having an edge guard situation, it becomes a kill. And what's weird is that he got the same startup right there, but then he opted for a different combo. Yeah, that's true. I'm he did. I'm wondering what the difference was between the initial. Um, Forward air, up air, up B combo, and then that, and that turn yeah. down air. I don't think he started it with a down air this time, but. And we see there, like, so Josh ledge hops with a. Ooh. Ooh. Nice, nice there. Josh ledge hops uh, with an up air onto Boom's shield, and Boom knows that that hit stun's not very long uh, with an up air, so he's able to shield hop Nair. So Josh should be careful on what he's using when he ledge hops here against Boom. I'm liking what I see with Boom uh, when he gets those early percentages, uh, early percent um, forward throws. He just gets him below stage. I think he really likes to uh, interact with a Pikachu that has to up B from below. Even oh. if the down air doesn't kill right away, it's better for him. Gives him less options. Gets the grab. Second hit of forward air. Up air, up B. That's going to be it. Yeah. Game two for Super Boom Fan. A little bit uh, more dominant that time. Didn't really see a, an avenue for Josh to come back. Yeah. Very impressive. The, the first game, it definitely seemed within reach, but that game seemed pr pretty strongly in Boom's favor. Yeah. I don't Even think little moments in the neutral, it's kind of like that ledge hop up there, and then you had 
Moments where Josh landed an up tilt, and then Boom's reaction so quickly to jab after that and make sure he gets himself out of trouble. Absolutely. Oh. Okay, unfortunate. Yeah, that could have been an easy re-grab for Josh. Yeah, it was a, kind of a poorly placed forward here from, uh, from Boom that led to it. When you're playing a player, you know, at Boom's level, and Josh knows for, for him, self-tap, to have a chance, he's got to make sure he's able to do the things he he normally is able to do. If you mess up little things like a re-grab on a, on a tech chase, you're very unlikely to take a game off Boom. And just like that, that's two stocks in 30 seconds. Yeah, and you see, again, unsafe shield pressure there, and Boom's timing, impeccable. Gets out of it with that up smash. It leads to a huge, crazy combo. Ends it with the F smash. Okay. Nice. All right, so that's one stock. Cute rising there. Okay, little trade there. Not too bad. Great See, DI from Boom, though. And most players, that might work on where you start with that F air and then you throw out a Nair after that. But Boom's timing, you know, he knows that that's not true. So, oh, yeah. Ooh, he felt that. Yeah. <laughs> so Boom advances on to Grand Finals. Quick 3-0. Yeah, and in typical fashion, Boom's weakest game is game one, even though he wins it. Yeah. Must defeat my Falcon Punch to stand a chance. <laughs> I don't think we saw any Falcon Punches.